Hello, my name is Jordan and I'm with Skip who coded Mindscape version 2 from play.gameslabs.net. Say hello. Hi. <laughs> and yeah, today we are basically showing off how armor works, how uh, weapons work, and uh, as you can see by my heart to the bottom, how that works. So I'm going to first do slash H and show that my strength is 96, my defense is 96. What's my level skip? Because I can't see it. 96. 96. So even still, I'm not the same level as skip. Ridiculous. <laughs> so, <laughs> so yeah, um, I'm level 96. So I have 42 and a half hearts, I believe, down here. So I'm a pretty bulky man. Anyway, going into um, like armor uh, and giving it values. As you can see, bronze plate body is the worst plate body in the game so it's got a protection of 15 the plate legs of 12 and the bronze helm of 5 so pretty tat armor but you have to start somewhere basically then the iron goes up to 20 22 and 15 so it's a lot stronger than bronze but still not too good then there's steel and there's mithril and there's adamant and we get to the rune plate body which shows at 80 so in comparison with the uh, bronze plate body of 15 the room plate body is 80 so it just shows a massive difference um, is is there any coding behind this or explanation of so usually a mob like a level 20 <coughs> mob will do like 20 damage right? indeed you have 42 hertz so like 94 health points oh ok if, he, if you were to not wear any armor you will, like, when the mob will hit you, you will get, like, minus 20 health point. But if you have that armor, it's going to be reduced by Does the Does that amount. not mean, though, that, like, for example, something like a lesser demon is going to do a massive amount of damage? Yep. And then so, it's going to be reduced with your yeah, but, armor. Yeah, but even with the armor on, it's going to do masses and oh, masses. Yeah, yeah. Of, yeah. So so maybe maybe the system it is in beta, might I add, yeah. to, the, to the people. So we are discussing what is not yet out. Um, maybe it's better for it to do a percentage of health or... It is or... It is a percentage. percentage. It, in, it depends of the mob. Like, of course, the level 20 mob won't do 20 damage on a high guy because the difference oh, between the right, levels okay. are higher. It's a bit... It's... Yeah. <laughs> okay, okay, I get it. I understand that. So, yeah, and then also the same... Oh, yeah, sorry. So you didn't actually explain, like what the protection, what's behind it, rather than it just being a number on screen. Yeah. It's it's like a, a big calculation thingy, but to be simple, uh, it depends of the difference between the levels. Of you and the level and of the, the... And the mob, yeah. Right, okay. Same for the XP. You get um, the armor you have, the, the points showing on the armor will be like a buffer. And you have like a max buffer, so you cannot be like invincible, right? <laughs> yeah, yeah, of course not. So yeah. Okay, that that makes awesome sense. Right. Okay. So because my defense level is so high, I'm just gonna stick on the best items that I've got. And as you can see with like the uh, the swords and things, I've got an offhand battle axe which has 70 damage. Rune mace has 71, and the offhand sword has 73. So it's a bit obvious what I'm gonna choose. As I don't have um, rune legs and thingies. I'm just going to stick on the adamant, and I don't have any shoes at all, so I'll just cry in a corner. So, Poor guy. <laughs> I know. So I've got f six and a half hearts um, armor majigs at the moment, and I have a offhand sword. So I And I have 42 and a half hearts, so I'm a pretty bulky, pretty strong soldier. Um, Skip is now going to show a level three gnome, so it should pretty much be a one-shot. And boom. It, the, the good thing with this is that shows literally how easy it was to kill a level 3. Like in Pokemon, like in actual RuneScape, the lower level compared to a higher level, you just obliterate them. So that was good. That was a one hit. Now Wizards, they took about 3 or 4 hits, let's say. Sheesh, I got a lot of this. Got some <laughs> air runes going, some water runes. Fine. Um, yeah, so that took a lot more to kill, but didn't really do any uh, grave damage to me. Now let's see this. It, it it's done a heart so far, done a half a heart again, another heart. Okay, it's it, it's it's doing a, a tiny amount of damage. The the amount that you'd expect it to do, 
I guess, for that level. Ah, Minotaur's actually coming after me. <laughs> it's a creeper. Help me. Um, so the creeper's doing a bit of fair damage. It's level 27. You're expecting it. Yeah. This is this is working quite well so far. Good one. Nice one, Skateboard. We'll, we'll pretend uh, this one. Um, okay, so I'll, I'll kill this spider now. It's level 32, King Scorpion. Uh, I am gradually getting damaged. Sometimes it, it doesn't hit me. Sometimes it does. Um, it depends. So, yeah, okay. <laughs> here we go with a hill giant. I'm just... We're making a point here. Um, oh, it's a moss giant. Oh, okay, nice. I And this is definitely doing damage. Every time it hits me, it's either for a full heart or a half heart. So, that's showing what what can be done. Is there a higher level? Oh, God. That's the Jesus. max level at the moment. Yeah. Okay, so the max level for a mob is 45. But as you can see, even in level 96, isn't struggling, but you're going to find it do a lot of damage to you. It actually did about... I, I don't really know like, completely, but I'd say about maybe four hearts. So level 45, that's a lot of hearts to do. If you wanted to go fight lesser demons, you'd need a lot of uh, food with you and the means to actually stay and survive. So we, you'd need more armor than I have and whatnot. And oh, I guess uh, remove your... Uh, try, yeah, yeah. try once with your armor and then remove it. <laughs> Uh, okay, so this is pretty much the same as killing a skeleton. It's level 42. Yeah. I've just taken off my armor, so I've only got my sword. And I don't really want to get hit by... Oh, Jesus! <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to die! <laughs> I hate you, Skip. Uh... Oh, man. Okay, so that makes such a difference. There is no chance that you can go into the uh, into the fight without armor on. Um, when they're, they're that high level. I'm level 96 and I was struggling against 45. So armor is literally going to be everything on this game, which means you need to really, really well equip yourself. Let's see how much money I've got. Yeah, yeah, the money system sort... Unless you gave me some, didn't you? I f maybe yeah, I yeah, you it. gave me money ages ago to buy the, uh, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. the sword thing. So I was going to say the money system's broke, but it's not. <laughs> so, yeah, um... The point of this really is to show that there's a lot of work behind the scenes with valuing um, of damage and defense and each item has its own value, has its own, uh, what's, what's the word? Buff. It has its own like, has its own buff. Oh, gun yeah. for the brave, he's going to take you out. Boom, <laughs> take and some water, oh. Is, what, what's the top level, by the way, for everything, every stat? Uh, it's... 99 like in runescape uh-huh but you can extend it to 120 okay like in runescape again yeah. so at level 120 you're literally like kitted out to the max like there's nothing better you can get oh yeah so what's the top level because you're level 119 what's like the max level like what do you mean like in combat level yeah combat level is like 120 but the max thing is you will get is at level level 99 uh, yeah, from, yeah yeah from level 99 to 120 you won't win anything oh okay i see just xp and maybe a cool thing at the end if you reach level 120 <laughs> good luck yeah i know jeez <laughs> you deserve it by then oh, so yeah, yeah uh, basically um the video shows off what's to come with armor i think it's not just armor anymore there's legitimate reasons for using certain ones and it just gives more depth of gameplay which is freaking oh, amazing what's and the thing <laughs> we're falling in love <laughs> <laughs> and also we have been discussing something behind the scenes as to what's not exactly next but what's going to be coming out if this is a huge success yep like extending the, the life cycle of this game of things so so there's a lot in the works behind this now and we have done like a marathon of videos which this is probably going to be the last one over there. <laughs> it's I weird because this this one comes should, last. So we should do another one when we have when we'll have like more quests. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That would be cool. Yeah. Yeah, quests are going to be implemented um, throughout each. I want it personally throughout each city, so it doesn't get stuck with Lumbrigitis, which Mindscape One um, had, and it was literally Mindscape and Al um, Lumbridge and Alcrid, and that was it. You couldn't go anywhere yeah. else because there was no point. At the moment, already, the general store set up. Um, Grand Exchange, you have to come to Varrock, so that's good. 
so yeah, we've rambled on quite a lot, but stay tuned for uh, more little exciting videos on Mindscape version 2, uh, like little trailers, little sneak peeks and things like that. So don't forget to go on play.gameslabs.net. You can play the Mindscape beta if you have VIP. Um, thanks for watching, guys, and we'll see you next video. See ya!